Kaizu. <lacht> Chelsea aka the Octavian welcome back to my channel how you doing how you living how's your soul you know you know I'm gonna make a jingle and it's gonna be a thing watch today's video is going to be my ceramics haul video technically this is you know pottery that I've collected over the years from supporting different artists from Etsy to you know Instagram sellers, Shopify. I am a huge advocate for just handmade like everything. Like I just, I don't know, I love the whole process. And I figured I'd share my collection because I realized I kind of accumulated a lot of pieces over the years. And just to kind of show you, uh, you know, what I've collected on this pottery journey, if you will. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this thing. All right. All right, so my first mug is this really cute one from Pitch Pine. I'm gonna start with Pitch Pine first because I have like a lot of mugs from them. <laughs> but it's this really beautiful handcrafted cat and moon um, mug and it has like a little Saturn or Jupiter in the back. Um, love, love their, their work. I've been following them a really long time. And this is what the outside looks like. Definitely one of my favorites. I like to use this around fall time. And then the next pitch pine one is this really pretty bird or eagle hawk, which I totally feel like is one of my um, spirit animals, fun fact. I see them often or you know spirit totems if you will um, but yeah I love the blue color in this and the speckled pattern so intricate on the back side there is mountains here and this is just their updated logo but this one is definitely one of my favorites. I use this one quite often. The next pinch pine one is this moon one with a really pretty pink. I like to say this is like a pink sherbet kind of color glaze, but this is the speckled detailing on it. Um, super, super cute and with the little galaxy on the back. Love that. Definitely a favorite. This other one, this is kind of one of her older pieces. I don't believe she makes this style anymore. Um, I believe I probably purchased this in like 2016 or 17. But I love this because of the waves. I definitely should have bought two while she was making these because I love this and I love um, the shape. Um, but yeah, these are, this is the Wave mug a lot. Um, I love this. If she ever makes one or more of these, I'm definitely gonna get another one. Facts. You know, sets of two, neat things to coordinate, you know? Now, moving on to her tumblers. They're kind of like wine tumblers. I'm not gonna show you all six of these because they basically look the same, but I'm gonna show you the first two of each style. This is, a wine tumbler but I use this for everything wine juice water whatever um, I really like the glaze on it a lot um, this is another one same pattern super beautiful there's a little bit of lavender um, brown spotting in there super cute pitch pine love them now moving on to their thumbler ones, they call them a thumbler because um, it's a little indented hole here. Same kind of style, but it gives you a little bit more of a grip. This is for wine, water, juice. I use it for everything, but 
its intention is for wine. I love this. This one, these ones are probably my favorite, the ones with the thumbler. Um, I got two of those. And yeah, I just really love the coloring in them. Super beautiful. And the last tumbler or wine glass is this really pretty coral pink one. Love, love, love this color. It's very summery, very springy. Love the shade in this. It is super cute. Little pop of color, love that. Now, moving along to one of the very first pottery artists that I've found, the infamous Ox and Otter mug. Um, she doesn't go by Ox and Otter anymore. I believe she's just going by her name, which is Erla Jean. I'll link her Instagram in the description box below, but this is when she was first starting to make pottery. And immediately I knew because if y'all know me, like y'all, I love anything with suns, moon, stars, anything that is, I guess, celestial. That is definitely my vibe. <laughs> so love, love, love that piece. This is a second mug of hers. It gives me Halloween vibes with the colors, but I definitely use this every fall. Super cute. Actually, I just use it whenever, but I use it way often when it is, you know, Halloween time, gives me Halloween town vibes. Love it, super cute. The next one are her jug mugs. This was my very first purchase from Ox and Otter or Earl of Jean. It has a little bee on it, super cute. I love the contrast of the yellow and the blue. Super cute. Ceramics, love it, love it. Definitely one of my favorite pieces. The next one is similar colors with the blue, but it transitions into a hot pink fuchsia color. Really beautiful with the sun on it. Here is the bottom. Love, love, love this piece from her. This one is called Arctic Purple or the shade. I love this one. This is another jug mug of hers. Super, super cute. Love the detailing in that. Beautiful. Def a fave. Now moving along is Pottery Witch here which this is like a palm mystery hand and I loved the symbolism on it and the speckled pattern good for a good cup of joe it's the inside super super cute this is one of my favorites from her I love I love it the second thing from pottery which is this heart lungs one I just really liked the coloring in this and the moons, uh, the flower detailing I thought was very beautiful. And yeah, Pottery Witch has some really dope pieces. Definitely go ahead and check her out. Now moving along to CB Organics. Self-loving badass, she has a lot of really cool pottery that has different sayings or symbolisms on it, so I really like her pieces. Definitely this is not my last piece, I love it, but self-loving badass, uh, yeah, because I am, and definitely won't be the last piece. The next one is from Red Hot Pottery, and I loved the speckled detailing on this. It's brown and white. The inside is really cool, but I just liked the coloring, the speckles. I thought it was really cool. All right, so this is by Alexa Applin. This is the Monstera mug, and made the mistake of only purchasing one of these because look at those colors. Look at the pattern. I love the speckles in this. It's like a pink matte, and then it goes into a blue-green 
glaze. I love this mug and it's kind of massive to be honest, but I love it. Um, I usually drink it with water or you know, whatever tea I'm drinking, but love, love, love. The next one by her is this Aloha mug. Super, super cute. It has the hibiscus flower in there. Oh yeah, I love, love this piece. The next one, and it's kind of chipped, but I can't part ways with it because, I mean, it's super cute, and I don't think she makes these anymore, but this is by Rose Hill Art. I love this. I got this back in 2017 when I was traveling in San Francisco. And, you know, black women artist reppin'. Love it. It saddens me that it's kind of broke, but, you know, we don't still keep it. Probably gonna make a planner or something out of it, but that is that piece. So the next round and the last of the mugs and cups is gonna be by Cure Call Ceramics. These are little you know me cups or teacups. Um, they call them Yunomis in Japan for the Japanese style teacups, but these are handmade by her. And again, obviously because I love moons, stars, anything celestial, I had to do it got this one in blue it's a really pretty blue color and then I also have this one with the Sun and it kind of transitions into an ombre so it has that orange yellow and some blue in there uh, but those are some you know me cups that I got from her and yeah that is kind of the gist of all of my mugs but now Moving on to bowls. So this is by Ox and Otter, AKA Earl Jean, as before. It's the inside, cute, love that, super cute. The next one is by Divine Pine Studios. I'm gonna link it in the description. But this is a bowl, technically I love the blue and I love the intricate detailing and the handles that is on this. I thought this was super cute. Um, super good for like photography or if you are like a food blogger or whatever. Like I feel like those will definitely be aesthetically pleasing. They just look good when I put like soup or like water or whatever I'm using it for. It just makes everything that I put in it look good. But this is a slightly bigger one and I really like the blue in there. The intricate detailing and what got me is the handles. I love the handles on this. They're like kind of like little mini pots. If they had a lid, that would be fire. But I love using these as bowls as like a display. Love them. Now moving on to these bowls. All these bowls are by CP Ceramics. This is what this one looks like, I actually bought three of these exact ones, but one of them broke, I'm so saddened. But this is what she looks like, look how intricate she is. I love the colors in this. Super cute. And here is the second one. This is the cousin, or the brother. Slightly different patterning, but same style, teals, blues. I love this, love this a lot. And the last bowl is this one from CBA Ceramics again. And this is like a lighter shade range that she does. Um, it's like a light blue, yellow, tan, hints of blue and purple in there. I love it. Is the bottom CB ceramics yeah and that is the end of the collection all right guys and that is the very end of this video thank you so much for watching my very extreme uh, ceramics collection I just love supporting artists that 
take pride in their work. But keep in mind, these were pieces that I've collected over the years. So uh, I didn't buy these things all at once, but definitely over the years, um, I've been showing my support. I'm gonna link all the artists that I've mentioned in this video down in the description box below so be sure that you go ahead and check that out if you haven't already be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell if you vibe i vibe you know what i mean come join the family all right we are beautiful people of the earth you feel me but yeah until next time i shall see you guys